Okay, this is a review of the Spot Hog Keaton uh, Archer release. I'm um, sorry if the video is shaky. I do not have a tripod. I'm just holding the camera here, but um, didn't see a lot of reviews on this before I bought it. I'm um, just telling you right now, out of the gate, I actually will be returning it tomorrow because, um, well, I'll get into that. But regardless, uh, little details about it. Uh, right now, it retails for ninety nine ninety nine at my local Shields. Um, yeah, that's about it. It's a wrist. It is kind of a hybrid release. It's got a wrist strap, um, but it also does have this uh, kind of this T handle like a handheld release would have um, portion of the release as well. Um, obviously made by Spot Hog, made in the USA. Um, it's actually a really nice release. I do I do like the release. The quality is awesome, just like anything else from Spot Hog. Um, I, I really don't have anything negative to say as far as the build quality, uh, the comfort, the the trigger of the release is amazing. In fact, I'll probably be replacing it with a wise guy. Um, going to go check him out tomorrow as well. But I picked this up tonight. Um, when I tried it at the Shields in their indoor archery range, it uh, I loved it. I literally fell in love with it. The first few shots, I kind of were like, it was kind of like, you know, it was weird. Something to get used to. Um, but once you kind of figure it out, it really is, it really is awesome uh, how it works. So... You know, like I said, it's it's a standard, like a hanging wrist release without a shaft, uh, but it's kind of a hybrid. So it has a, a pivot here for this T-handle to grip it in different, um, you know, different, different styles of holding the release. Uh, it's a set trigger release, meaning it's not spring-loaded. It has a forward lock, and a backward release. I'm not going to shoot anything with it tonight. Um, I think it's pretty self-explanatory what it does. It's super smooth. The release is amazing. Um, I'm going to get into why I'm actually going to be returning it. Um, I shot it at the local Shields on a bow that did not fit me. Um, the reason I went with it was because just like it advertises... Draws easier, holds longer, shoots better. This release, I kid you not, um, made a seventy pound a seventy pound bow feel like a sixty pound bow. Um, it was a bow I never shot, and I just you know I shot I, I shot it a few times first with this release. I was testing out a few different releases, and um, to me, when I first started shooting the bow with this release, I honestly was sitting there thinking, well, I can't get a good comparison to my bow. Because this bow is really smooth. It just does not feel like 70 pound bow off my bow. Um, I shoot a Bowtech RPM 360. So, you know, it's not a terrible draw cycle on the 360, uh, but it is a little, uh, maybe a little stiffer than most people would run. Uh, regardless, the bow I was testing on with a mat was a Matthews Avail. And uh, the bow was not set up at my draw length. I'm a 30 inch draw length, and they had it set at like a 28. So it also had no sight uh, or peep. So here's where the problem lies. I shot the bow a few times with this release. Um, then I tried out a few other releases. When I tried out the other releases, I soon figured out that the bow was actually set at 70 pounds. I didn't believe them that it was set at 70 pounds with this release. It really felt like a 60 pound bow with this release. This release was awesome. Um, when you're able to get all four fingers and the wrist strap pulling back, it takes all of the pressure off of the lower, the lower portion of your wrist. Um, get some of your hand muscles in there as well. It just really made it a smooth draw. I love this release for that. I'm super bummed that it did not work out for me because, and I'm, I'm going to get to that right now, um, when I finally got home and started shooting it with my bow, what I actually found was <sighs> when, you're, when you're drawing, you're drawing with all four fingers, Okay. Then what you do, you kind of do this little motion in the draw where you let off this finger and this this guy folds backward, okay? And you bring your index finger over to the trigger, lock it, and then shoot, okay? Um, this portion right here, 
it does not allow for my anchor point. Okay. Now this is not a judgment of this release for some people who anchor differently than me. This may be fine. This may not get in your way. If this, if, if, if you do not need this portion of your hand to be flat on your jawbone, like I do, um, you're fine. As you can see, when this thing is on a regular release, this is not here, this portion here. So I was actually pulling back. And then when I actually brought this over to this, to the trigger and docked this up against my face, this big clunky thing was keeping me from, from anchoring the string on my face. Uh, I anchor at the corner of my mouth and my nose and I couldn't do it with this. This was in the way. I tried a few different things. I tried um, first twisting. Okay, I tried twisting the D loop like this. Now this is not a rotating head. It was actually making my arrows kick out um, from the D loop twisting so much. So that doesn't work. I tried pulling back and using th you know this portion, the back of my hand here to anchor out of my face and then shooting with my middle finger, that works. It was not for me. Um, definitely not if you're wearing gloves. I have, you know, fairly, you know, fairly skinny fingers. They're not, they're not crazy, crazy chubby fingers. Uh, they're long, but you know, this was not enough room for me to, if I had gloves on to get this finger out and around without setting it off accidentally or messing up or, you know, something, it was just, it, it is enough room, but it's just, I don't feel comfortable with it. Um, it's just too risky. So, you know, I don't know, again, this is not a representation of this release. Is it not usable? No, I'm not saying that for someone, this release will be perfect for me. Not so much overall. The release is amazing. I really do like the spot hog release. Like I said, the trigger is awesome. Um, I can't say enough good about that. The The wrist strap, amazing. Super comfortable. The leather holds good. This material in here, it felt like it wasn't even on my wrist. They really do have it figured out with the components and materials used. Um, it looks sleek. It looks nice. It's not super heavy, but it, I mean, it's solid. You can tell it's quality built. There's no real set screws to get to for adjustment. It's all internally, just like all the other Spot Hog releases. Um... This is spring loaded, this thing here. So it will always automatically go to that position. Um, I do love that about it. I love drawing back with this. If you're a guy who shoots with a wrist sling um, and you're just not comfortable using a handheld for hunting practices, this may be the release for you because this is the best of both worlds. Um, but like I said, for me, this was a deal breaker, this portion here. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm actually really bummed about it that I couldn't make that work. I tried many different things. I ended up moving uh, my peep up to give myself more room to get this behind, you know, maybe behind the back of my jawline and get the string further up. Um, that wasn't really working out. It just, it just wasn't getting far enough back. I like to get my finger curled all the way around there and then pull you know, so I don't slap and I pull with my elbow until it breaks. And for this is, this is amazing for that. Um, but where it docked on my face was not, you know, if, if, if it could stay in this position maybe, and I could get this finger over, you know, and that stay like that, I could maybe get that behind my jaw or under my jaw or something. I don't know. Maybe not. I, I just, I know I, it's not doable because as soon as you let off, this wants to go back like this. And what I like about it is it gives you consistency when you're holding this. Um, when this thing's back, it's almost like you're holding a pistol grip. You know, you, you got this whole thing to hold almost like a pistol grip and it really gives you consistency. One thing I did notice right now I use, I have a, uh, a true fire smoke and it's a shaft, you know, it has, it's a shaft all the way down to the wrist strap, um, up from the, from the, from the cal uh, calipers down to the wrist strap. It's a shaft. It's a hard shaft. Um, that's fine. I needed something that came in a little bit further down on my hand on my smoke. It's just, it just sticks out a little too far. So I was looking for something that was, um, strap based that I could tighten up 
and get further down on my hand. And so I was looking at, that's what I was comparing was, was kind of these free hanging um, releases, which I do like what I didn't like about the other ones. And again, this is just my issues. Uh, what I didn't like about the other ones was how much movement I had with that, um, with that free hanging release. It seemed like when I was, when I was docked, um, I anchored on my face and I had the, and I had the release, uh, on the knock or on the uh, D loop. It feels like if I, if I turn my wrist a little this way or this way or not, it wanted to pull that release either way. And the bow was not giving. So my arm was giving. So my arm was going in and out and, it, and I just couldn't, it, it seemed like there was just too many variables to where I anchored on my face. This, once you grab this, it's stationary. It's, it's like you're, it's like you're making a fist. I mean, you can't change. There's not a lot of movement here when I do this, even if I change, you know, move my wrist or anything, it doesn't matter. It, it's, it's where this is in coordinates to the rest of my hand. It's fully, fully touching all of my fingers inside of my palm, everything. I, I had everything on my hand holding this release, which was awesome. Looks like a handheld release. I loved it. Um, yeah, really good, well-made release. I will, I will give it, you know, five stars or whatever kind of ranking system you want to give. I will give it because I, I didn't have it for long, so I can't speak durability over time. I can tell you from materials that it's made with, it's worth giving it a shot. Um, but I will say, if you go to the store and try it out, anchor it to your face, anchor it, how you anchor your bow and see if you can make it work. If you can make it work, you will not be disappointed. 99 99. It's worth it. It's a good, it's a good release. Um, yeah, I just haven't seen a lot of reviews on it. So I figured I'd give it a review, tried it out, loved it at the store, got home, super disappointed. I should have, I should have tried it on a bow that I could anchor at my depth. I wasn't even thinking about it. Um, I don't know. I just couldn't make it work. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe you guys give me some tips or some, some pointers on what I'm doing wrong. Um, but yeah, I don't like inconsistency on my release. I, 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 I'm not a guy who can just pick up a release and, and it works perfect. It seems every release I've ever tried, I've had to either adjust or somehow make fit my hand. So I'm comfortable when I anchor. You see, that feels like it's, it's locked in. This release did that for me. This release did that tenfold. But once I got home, feels awesome in the hand. Couldn't anchor with that 